forward. Alright, welcome back to Call of Duty Ghosts. As I'm finishing my squad member reconstruction for my female character Claire and my male character Lucius. Uh, I just got done with some TDM earlier today and I'm going to get ready to head back on out there in a minute with um, a couple of people that I know by the name of King Lopez 0506 and Nick Tommy Gun. And we're going to head out there and then just get in some, just get in a little leveling up here, a little leveling up there. Meanwhile, while I'm going along here, I did, well, early this morning, since we are on Sunday, I did take a look at the progress that my friend Orion was doing on Escalation Mode. And it's looking very strong, like I may be able to win this bet, but I'm not going to hold my breath just yet. I have to wait until we hit upon 12 o'clock midnight tonight, or Monday morning his time, since he's in Germany. And I'll keep tabs on that. Uh, I'll worry about that later on as the time as time proceeds. Meanwhile, I'm going to go over my upgrades here for what it is I'm going to try and work with later on today, if I can. And I'm almost close to getting a lot of good leveling up. I'm at level 20 online right now. I'm about to look at level 21. And I changed my tag to uh, the wise guy. And my clan, we are one with a couple other players that I play with online currently. As a mini clan, not an actual pro bono clan. Um... For my Claire modification, I upgraded it a very good deal from the last time I was working with number 7Z. Uh, my rollout is still going to be the Bulldog modification, but I have it with more accuracy and range because I have it equipped with a holographic sight in order to increase precision equipped with a uh, readout. And I also have a slug round, which trades the spread shot for a single deadly shot, which increases damage output. And then also for my secondary, I have the 44 Magnum with a silencer and then a throwing knife just for the heck of it. For my loadout 2 in Claire I have the Digimonster outline or the Digimon monster however I want to go about it which is for the M27 IRA. Combined with this I have the thermal hybrid scope that detects enemy heat signatures in combination with an integrated holographic sight that goes about five or six feet out. And then I have the armor piercing, which is a highly penetrative round, which is effective against enemy controlled vehicles and infantry armor. So what I did here was actually combine a very good mesh of a scope that has the range of a sniper rifle, combined with the armor piercing and, rep and fast fire rate of a machine gun. And the trick with this is that with the perk that I was able to get from it that I unlocked, I was able to make this machine gun very, very light. So it's a heavy duty light machine gun. It's a very ingenious strategy. It's a very ingenious mishmash of a gun that was inspired from a player, uh, one of the higher ups by the name of a uh, Reagan. As much as I really don't like that guy, but I will I will say that his equipment was very very high tech. The only trick though with this is that you have to save up a lot of squad points in order to buy it. Because you're talking about a good 20 25 squad points in total, not only to buy the gun but also to buy the particular uh, armor piercing round, like so. And then also with the, the thermo hybrid scope, because you got to buy both of those things at once, and you have to equip one before the other. That way it affects the, the grade properly in order to make sure that you have your accuracy, your damage, and your range, especially the range, because that range at max is almost unbeatable. And a lot of people are probably known to curse you out since you get a lot of good range off that with a high fire rate. And it's just fun sometimes. And my last modification is for the USR, which is a very unique type of sniper rifle. Out in the field earlier, I've seen people use um, two different types of sniper rifles that are given from the six. One of them being the USR, which is equipped with a silencer, which makes it hard in order to hear it. The other one is the... Um, the L115 and the Lynx. Specifically the L115 because it has a recoil compensator which reduces the kick with each kill. And if it's from the knee up, if it's from the knees up, it's a one, it's almost like a one hit kill. For the Lynx, if it's the shoulder if it's for the Lynx, if it's the chest up, it's a one hit kill. 
because the link can penetrate very, very fast. But the fire rate on the Lynx and the, the L115 are very, very low. The only one that can compensate for fire rate is probably the Maverick, but people don't go for that because you have to mod it for, for more damage. VKS you can go for because it seems to be a, a semi-automatic sniper rifle that's good all around, and it has an integrated sniper, ugh, an integrated silencer, which seems to do fairly well in its own right. So right now I'm just going to go over the rest of my stuff here and modify her out a little bit more. While I'm waiting for a couple people here to show up.